we're surrounded by synthetically produced objects. Objects have gone through lots of processes, you know, and most of those processes are industrial, like the vast majority of things that we live around and things that we cover, things that comfort our lives. I think we're just entangled in it, you know, to, to the degree that there's no distinction, I think. I'm sort of interested in, like, kinds of distortions or kinds of uh, mutable or morphological potential in that process. So the place in which I'm, I'm finding that that's possible is in uh, strongly sculptural. Using the, the basin, there's this sort of other imagined construction that may, may relate to the concrete itself. I thought it would be a slightly absurd object to make, given that it's a sort of cheap object and making them is a lot more expensive. <laughs> and so that's something that's usually only achievable through in industrial processes. I've essentially made two, sometimes three part mould in which I pour liquid plastic that then solidifies. So in, in essence, it's, it's like a sort of manual version of like an injection mould. I suppose it sort of intrigued me to sort of interject in a kind of semi-industrial process. To, to some degree, that's a kind of imprint of the real world. The idea that it's kind of not the real world, like a kind of parallel image from it, I think is kind of quite important. Work is always flicking between images of wealth and also a sensuousness related to that versus things to do with lowly materials or materials that we don't usually associate with the decorative. This conflation of their sort of imagined worlds. 